In this Math in Minute video, we are going to go over vectors. So what is a vector? A vector is an object that has both a magnitude, which is like the length of the vector, and a direction. We're going to start with points and do the components of a vector, which are the x and y coordinates. Then we will determine the magnitude and the angle direction. So let's take a look at this example. We have vector CD where the point C is 5, negative 2, and the point D is negative 5, negative 8. So I'm going to label these coordinates. Let's take a look at the component form first. So the component form is when we have x minus the first x, and then we have y2 minus y1. So our value for x2 is negative 5, and we're going to subtract that from x1, and we have y2, which is negative 8, and we're going to subtract negative 2. So our x coordinate is going to be negative 10, and our y, this becomes plus plus, is going to be negative 6. So this is our component form in x and y coordinates. So let's take a quick look because it's important to know where this vector is going to reside. And since we have two negatives, that is going to reside in the third quadrant here because we have two negatives. And that's going to be important when we determine the angle direction. So here we found the component form, negative 10 and negative 6. Over here, I drew the graph um, where we're in the third quadrant. And so let's take a look at finding the magnitude, which is the length of the vector. And as you can see here in the graph, we kind of are making a triangle with our vector, right? So this looks like the Pythagorean theorem. So we're trying to find the hypotenuse. So the formula for finding the length of the vector is the square root of a squared plus b squared, which is like the Pythagorean theorem. So our a is going to be our x coordinate. So we have negative 10 squared plus negative 6 squared, and we're going to take the square root of that. So we have the square root of 100 plus 36, and that would be the square root of 136 which is equivalent to approximately 11.66. So that is the length of our vector. That's the magnitude. That is this here. 11.66 is the length of the magnitude. So if we have our component form and we have the length of our vector, which is the magnitude. Now we need to find the angle direction. And that's basically this angle here. What is that angle there? Or even from this point, what is the angle? So we are going to find the angle direction. And in order to find that, we have our x and y value. So we can use the inverse tangent to find the angle direction. So we're going to have theta is equal to the inverse tangent of y over x. So if we fill in our x and y coordinate, negative 6 over negative 10, which is the same thing as 0.6. Theta equals the inverse tangent of 0.6. So our theta is equal to 30.9 degrees. Or we can say round it to 31 degrees. So this here is 31 degrees. But since we're in the third quadrant, we have to add the 180 degrees plus 31 degrees, and that is going to give us 211 degrees is our angle direction. So we found our component form of the vector, which was negative 10, negative 6. We found the magnitude, which is the length of the vector, is 11.66. And our angle direction is 211. Hopefully this information was helpful. Please subscribe, like, and share. 
Any math topics you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you next time.